Okay, it's looking a bit better, and um, I'll show you how I did this. Um, you can see here that there I've copied and pasted my mask, and now if I turn off the, you see that's before, you know, and after, before and after. And if I wanted to, I could even make it a lot stronger by upping the opacity on this layer, but I'll show you how. Uh, so there's uh, before and now after, so I've introduced some nice greens in there, and I'll show you what I did to get that going. Um, file, open, let's see here, let me open up, uh, I restored it at the last point I was at. Okay, there I was at, right? What I did was, is I still worked on my mask by adjusting, um, switching between black and white, and painting with my paintbrush right here, which is the top tool right there, and I got my mask the way I wanted. I removed some of the red that was here, right, by painting um, by painting white, and then I removed some here and here. I did some nice touch-ups, and then I hit Q, which gave me my selection, and then uh, Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And then if I turn off my eyeballs over here, you'll see that there I pasted the grass right on top of the other layer. Now, with this grass here, what I did was, is I did some tricks on this grass. What I did was, an image, instead of doing an adjustment layer, I did a um, hue saturation right here on this layer, but not an adjustment layer. So what I did was an image, adjustments, hue saturation, and I changed the hue to kind of like a greenish hue, and I upped the saturation a bit and made it you know, kind of nice here, right? A little greenish, you know, almost like a little candy landish, you know, like she's in an imaginary world. And clicked OK, right? And now that's um, really kind of turned that very green. And then what I can do now is I can play with my layer blend modes to see if there's a, a blend mode that actually makes it blend in quite nicely. And then I, I saw that color was nice. That's color and then this is normal normal and I thought color looked pretty good so I went to color which is a little darker and then I also backed off my opacity on the layer a little bit so I took that down so it's a little bit see-through and not as not as an extreme a change so now this layer where I've pasted the grass has a color blend mode and the opacity has been reduced on this layer to 63% making it partially transparent and also I did an adjustment on it image adjustments hue saturation and so I like how that turned out and uh, I'm pretty pleased with that another thing I could do I could do the same thing with some of these other items on the girl for instance um, I'm gonna select this background uh, copy layer right this layer here notice how that looks now where it's partially opaque so it's it's um, partially transparent, so you don't see as you, know, you can see that's just uh, not completely changing it. Um, but now the grass has green in it. So I'm going to select this background copy layer, and what I'm going to do is then click on the new layer button right down here and make a new transparent layer right above it. And what I can do is I can get my paintbrush, and then I'll click on this color chip here, and I'll just find like a brown kind of like a nice a nice color here and what I can do is I'll zoom in on her shoe and show you what I'm gonna do let's just zoom right in on that shoe and I'm gonna paint on this transparent layer that's above the background layer and I'm just gonna paint this color here right this which is a kind of a reddish color what I really was looking for was I imagine the shoes is almost like a, a Venetian red type of a red leather here you know and I don't quite have that but it's good enough for my example so I paint right over there you know and you can say oh that doesn't look good right oh look at that doesn't that look beautiful right so that's right here on its own layer so if I you know I don't want to paint that on this layer or I'm gonna ruin the image it's on its own layer so I can always delete it so now you got that layer and now I'll go up here to the blend mode and I'll choose overlay which will blend it right in and add it some color a little too much red but I can always back off the opacity so I could back off that opacity and now it's just a very 
slight color colorization. So I'm, uh, you know, in this way, I'm all, I'm basically colorizing the photo, and I could just paint right over that now, and you know, it's like colorizing the shoe a little bit, adding a little bit of saturation to the shoe, right? Adding some color to the sh to the shoe like that, and so there's um, before and then after. Um, I can up the opacity to for the video so you can see a little bit more um, before and then after adding some color if I zoom out now you know the shoes look a little bit better I'm not so sure if that's the perfect thing or not I can try these other blend modes color um, saturation um, luminosity um, I don't have it memorized what each thing does um, you know, I, I like this vivid light. That's looking pretty nice uh, before, after. Um, I might need to back down the opacity so it's not as jarring. But it definitely adds some color to those shoes and, you know, gives her a better flavor. Let me uh, zoom in here and paint the tips. Can't resist, sorry. All right. And while I'm at it, what I could do is I could do the same for her shirt. I could just pick a different color of red. Let's say something with a little more orange in it. Move this slider up here. Right. And get a bigger brush. And I could paint this all day. I'm not sure if that is the color I'm looking for. It seems like I might need something a little more purpley. So I'll go up here, click OK, and then try out a more purple color on there and see if that's what I want. Now this is really adding a loud statement to the photo here. Um, Notice that's where it's going right there, but uh, I can still, once again, try other modes. Overlay is probably a better mode for this. Um, blends in more perfectly, allows the blacks underneath to come through better, and um, I think overlay is where I need to be on that one. But as you can see, it's a very nice effect, and it's adding some needed color in on the sweater. Now it does have a colorized look. It looks like someone colorized a photo, but that's pretty artistic and people like that. People used to do this with watercolor on photos, uh, photographs by hand and brush um, all the time. So I like the effect. So once again this is um, painting with the paintbrush, painting a solid color on a transparent layer above the other layer and then changing it to overlay mode and then changing the opacity, lowering the opacity so that the effect is not too drastic. Um, when I'm working I also normally zoom in close and spend more time adjusting my brush sizes so that um, it's a perfect kind of a seamless transformation. But that's looking much better. Control minus and I probably do that to um, her bow. I might make her bow yellow and I might add some um, color in on the skirt and um, and then do a few more transformations. Yeah, it's a little bit um, it's a little bit uh, Wizard of Oz, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying it.